Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here, and today I've come with a very amazing uh, trick on electrostatics. It's an original problem, and uh, guys, here is the problem statement. A triangle is made of uh, wire having linear charge density of lambda as shown in the figure. Vertex A is at origin. Find the coordinates of points at which electric field is zero inside the triangle. The triangle is lying in xy plane. So two sides uh, L1 and L2 are uh, given here and this one angle theta is given. So by using this, uh, we know this angle already. If we use uh, sine rule here, L1 by sine beta and L2 by sine theta. So this beta is known to you. And if theta and uh, this is known to you, then this angle is known to you. Right. And similarly here, and you can say like this this side is also known to you l1 cos theta and l2 cos beta l1 cos theta plus l2 cos beta so basically entire thing about uh, the triangle is known to you so concept wise uh, in this problem we will see here uh, this i have discussed in the class and this trick also i have told that if any arc is given and the corresponding uh, line charge if both have same lambda and their extension is making same angle the end points are subtending same angle at a point then the electric field of this infinite wire and this circular arc is going to be same so we already know this value of field here and this result will hold true for unsymmetrical cases also if uh, one side extension is at an angle of alpha other side this extension angle is beta so uh, we know already for uh, arc uniform arc the resultant magnetic field will be always on the bisector so here total angle is alpha plus beta so from one end it is at an angle of alpha plus beta by 2 it will be inclined slightly due to this uh, unsymmetric length of uh, angle alpha and corresponding angle beta all right and uh, <coughs> here uh, this result also we know that if there is a uniformly charged ring and then electric field will be zero at the center of it so what we are going to do is we are going to divide this triangle into three different arcs in such a way that you can see here the extension is covering one side and for this arc extension is covering this entire side here and similarly these two extensions are covering this entire side so basically these three parts of the arc will give rise to the in circle of the triangle that means now this uh, uniform because the field of these sides is corresponding to this arc uh, due to this it is corresponding to this arc and due to this it is corresponding to this arc and it becomes a uniform ring so uh, due to uniform ring field at the center of it will be zero so that is the point null point which will exist in any triangle and will be corresponding to the in center of the triangle so for in center we already know these uh, formulas so anyone who is preparing for je will have idea of uh, in center formulas where ABC are the side length and X1, Y1, uh, X2, Y2 and X3, Y3 are the vertex. vertex. So here all these values are uh, known to you. I have just shown I am not doing this calculation because if I have to give this question in exam, I will be uh, giving uh, far more uh, easier uh, calculation wise, let's say angle of 60-30 or uh, uh, maybe 45-45. So this kind of arrangement I'll be taking in order to find this uh, in center. But I hope you have got the idea. It's a very beautiful result. And uh, if sometime such type of question comes in order to find the coordinate of null point, uh, you can easily calculate. You can just substitute these values and uh, you can find out. So guys, this Unacademy Lite, it is a distance learning program of uh, Unacademy. And here you can receive test series and printed notes for IDJ and a uh, lot of tests for, uh, created by the top educators you can have in this and uh, printed books will be delivered to your doorsteps video solution to each test will be available and it will start around uh, 10,000 and uh, you can use my code Nitin sir in order to in order to connect with me on an academy for your uh, J preparation and guys trust me physics will never be the same again and uh, these are the upcoming batches uh, of some faculties here emerge batch for j 2024 excel batch for 12th pass uh, student just after uh, advanced they are starting 
and uh, this is about mega combat <coughs> it's a very beautiful uh, exam and uh, somebody who is sincerely writing combat will uh, definitely perform very well in the je exam because uh, in 60 minutes you will be attempting 21 questions and these 21 questions will be completely new framed uh, problems and you can stand a chance to win scholarships and uh, lot of students who are uh, not part of regular programs of uh, an academy but still they appear on uh, je combat like you have apur tandan 99.85 percentile overall 100 percent in physics and uh, he has written 24 uh, combats and similarly mitharjan and he has got 99.99 percent and overall 100 percentile in chemistry so <clears throat> there are 20, 324 learners who have got uh, 99 plus percentile and 18 learners have scored 100 percentile subject wise so that's it guys in this video i hope you have enjoyed it thank you thank